Earth is a living organism, the only life-bearing planet found in the solar system. If this biotic body is suffering, people are crying. When it is dying, we also lack of breathing. Environment is one of its physical aspects, while the surroundings that's almost perfect, flowing waters like a blue sky above, full of innocence from children's laughter that was loud. A home that provides refuge for us, just like a floor that supports us, a wall that gives us shelter, a roof that protects us harder. This paradise gives us benefits for all three, medicines that cure our various diseases, Foods that feed us and fresh air from toxic regret. In the blink of an eye, all of these blessings turn Mother Nature to screams. Why most of us today don't think of tomorrow? If the next generation will embrace of sorrow, people choose greed over need, price over cost, sufficient instead of efficient. Sad, but true. Look! Observe our neglected ecosystem, gently dying of man-made own destruction, like polluted oxygen that we inhale and mess up carbon dioxide we exhale. Oh, blue waters are now suffocating with plastic. Birds are mourning for the lost trees as their shelter. Hundreds of species go extinct every day as a problem of losing biodiversity. Current temperatural results of ozone layer depletion, repeating issue for global warming and deforestation. These dilemma are products of our wrongdoings, which is worse than COVID-19 pandemic in our world that is happening. These errors cannot become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. Yes, our path of mislead can redirect. How? Let us restore our life-giving nature by inculcating and reacting the following procedure. 1. Planting more trees promotes reforestation that develops strong and big roots to control erosion. 2. Celebrate and participate a culture of restoration. 3. Farmers could use organic fertilizer instead of commercial ones which damages farmlands. And 4. Replant native grass, flora and fauna to convert grassland into cultivable lands. If we prevent and reverse the destruction of ecosystem, we can revive terrestrial and aquatic animals' home. If we cannot take care of Mother Nature, then she cannot take care of us. So, we must protect, conserve, and restore nature's space. People's faith could affect his action. It could be a part of solution or pollution. We should know that nature don't need people. Instead, we need nature. Mother Nature prepared to evolve. Are we?